Well, they celebrated the new year by creating artwork for 24 straight hours. And this Saturday, you can join the auction. CEO of Art Hatch, Melissa Inez Walker and artist Megan Darrow joining us live here this morning. Good morning to you both. Good morning. So Megan, this is the uh, 11th annual Artathon. Uh, can you tell us a little bit, actually, Melissa, we'll start with you. The 11th annual Artathon, tell us a little bit about the history of this event. I, I know this is a fundraiser and it helps out a lot of teenagers, right? Yeah, so the first one we did was in 2012. We actually called it the Recession Buster Artathon. Okay. And I got the idea to, to start the Artathon based on the jumpathons we did as kids where we would have people pledge us to do, you know, a dollar per hour. So that was how it started out. People would pledge artists to see if they could make it in the full 24 hours. And this is actually our 11th year doing it. And we have five artists who've actually done it for all 11 years. And it's a fundraiser for Art Hatch's free teen program. So the teen program is for kids that are in high school ages 15 to 18. We give them a free studio space, professional art supplies, and also workshops with both artists within our building and artists around the community. You've seen this uh, change and impact a lot of teenagers' lives, right? I mean, I, explain how much this has helped. Yeah, we had in the beginning, we had so many teens who would come to the building and spend hours looking through books and really wanting to be part of the space, but they couldn't afford to rent a studio. We do have 16 working artist studios in the building. And so that's when we came up with the idea of the free teen program. And we've had so many kids who've gone through the program for all four years in high school. It's made a huge impact. Quite a few of them have become professional artists. Some of them have come back to rent studios. You know, have had solo shows around San Diego and in the gallery, and it's just been a really huge success and very, I've been very grateful to be part of it and get to meet so many great teams. And we see Megan Hart at work there behind you, uh, working on her uh, latest creation. Hi, Megan, let's bring you into the conversation. Tell us about your involvement in this and how it's impacted you. Yeah, um, yeah I uh, was lucky enough to uh, be part of the artathon this year. Thank you, Melissa. Um, yeah, so you know, I did the 24 hour just like everyone else, um, which 50% um, of the proceeds go to the fundraising for the teenagers. And like Melissa said earlier, a lot of teams, you know, they don't have the means to take these art classes, you know, go to art school, that kind of thing. So this gives them that opportunity that otherwise might not be there. Awesome. So, um, can you, it's can really you... wonderful to be part of that community. Super cool. Can you uh, can you show me what you're working on there? We're always interested in, in an artist's hard at work here. Sure. Yeah. This is something I work. Uh, I've been working on here at the gallery studio. Um, a bit strange, um, but uh, it's a fun little piece. Um, That's cool. I think you know art has a lot of unique stories it can tell, and this is one of those pieces. Hopefully, where you can look at and just kind of create your own story within it. Um, so yeah, those are the kind of pieces that I like to make. And I mean, as you can see around, all the artists um, create something so unique and something you would never expect to see. So, you know, it's definitely worth checking out the gallery if you haven't yet. Um, I, you know, there's not just this space here, but there's also an upstairs, there's studios that you can check out um, different shows every Saturday, uh, second Saturday of the month. So. A lot of different events to check out, so I highly recommend. Yeah, to, check us out. to me, the, the weirder the art, the better, because it sparks those uh, awesome conversations, right? Melissa, let's try a little bit about where people can check out uh, the studio and uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, the details on the fundraiser. Um, people can bid on the artwork at distinctionart.com. We are having an opening reception tomorrow night. We'll have live music. Um, featured artists will be here. One of the featured artists, Eve Gola, will be body painting live at the event. Last spot will be open for drinks um, and it'll be from six to 10 tomorrow night. The auction goes through February 4th. So people can bid in person and online through February 4th at noon. What does the bidding start at? Is there a certain price? Um, there, those are some uh, nice- $100. Uh, okay, great, but that $100 <laughs> so goes a long way, right? Really low, almost all of them are valued. You know, The retail price is quite a bit higher than $100. People do have the option of paying the retail price, which is we call the buy it now. So people are able to do that if they just fall in love with a piece and they don't want to risk losing it. How many how many uh, art pieces, I'm curious, were you able to um, do during the, the art-a-thon there? How many pieces are you able to create? Artists, some artists did one. Um, our most prolific artist, Victor Roman, who's been doing the art-a-thon for all 11 years, he created um, 14 pieces. So it's he did 14 panels that he connected to 
together. So there's seven total pieces to bid on, but there's a total of 50 pieces in the show. I like how you're able to uh, be mobile during this interview. Can you take me to one of the pieces that you really like in your studio here? Would you mind taking us on a little tour and just show us some of the other pieces you like so we can get people sure. inspired and so they can yeah, take a look at some kind of them? Give a little tour. Yeah, look at that. Basically showing the, the pieces, all the pieces that were created during the artathon. Wow, and you know what? What I'm noticing in just the five seconds of you showing this, so many different um, styles, colors, uh, the vibrancy, different meanings. Um, they each kind of hold their own meaning, don't they? They do. I mean, all the artists have different backgrounds and different ideas and different styles, and that's part of what makes the Artathon fun is that we do have so many different, very diverse artists participating. Um, these pieces are really fun. They're by Kelly Vivanco and her husband, um, Peter Hillier, actually makes the frames. He hand carves them and then she paints them. I was just gonna say, some of the framing on some of these pieces is, uh, is, is part of the art itself. Very cool. So that was the tour. I showed you all 50 pieces that were created during our 24 hour event. Awesome, that's great. So people can go online, remind us the website again and uh, how they can bid. It's distinctionart.com. Distinctionart.com. All right, we're going to wave one more time to Megan over there working hard on her uh, her next piece before we, <laughs> we say goodbye. Keep up the great work. We love the, the art that you're creating there. And uh, Melissa, thanks again for your time and for uh, showing us the tour here this morning. And thanks so much for having us.